Hi, my name is Vince Campy. Let's talk about the PowerPoint design principles. Okay, presentation elements. This is what we're going to talk about. Content, creativity, and design. Content, you just need to make your point and use relevant media. Creativity, try and be original, fun, a little bit interesting. Design, use contrast, alignment, and repetition. Those are the three main um, design elements we're going to talk about. Now, as far as content goes, include only the information you need to make your point. Leave away any extraneous stuff. If it's a story, make sure they have a beginning, middle, and end. Only use images, movies, sound, and animation to enhance your message. A body text. Only put about six main points on each slide. Only write one or two lines of text for each point. And never write a whole paragraph on a slide. The audience will not read it. It's a, it'll have to be really tiny text and no one will read it and you'll just be reading to them. So use notes if you need to uh, add additional information and put your key points only on the slide. Font choice. Now, the above is a picture of the words font choice. It's just a picture of those because what the situation is when you play a um, uh, PowerPoint, it plays the fonts that are on the computer you're playing it on. So. This happened to me once where I had these beautiful fonts chosen and I went and played it on another machine and it didn't have the fonts and everything turned to Times New Roman. Um, very disappointed. So, um, if you want to use the crazy looking font, just do a screenshot of it or take a picture of it and use 28 point Verdana for the body text. Okay, Verdana, as research shows, that it is the most readable font. So, it's not the only one you can use, but a safe bet is Verdana. Never use a thick or a decorative font for the body text. It just makes it really hard to read. And you've used fonts that most computers have. Now, Verdana, Arial, Times, Georgia. There's several more, but those are very safe fonts. And be creative. <laughs> have some fun. Try to add some original ideas. Add something intellectually new or interesting that your audience doesn't know. Funny is usually good. Okay, a little something in there that's light is always a good thing. I'm going to talk about how I did all the stuff on this um, uh, in these uh, slides in just a moment. Now, a simple background. I split this one in half just to illustrate. Keep the background simple or Use a solid colored text box to make your text easy to read. This is for your audience to read. This is basically just some kind of communication. You're communicating. So make sure that it does. Alignment. Everything on a slide should line up with something else on that slide. Everything doesn't have to line up with everything. But as illustrated here, these line up with one another. Over here, this doesn't line up with this, but it does line up with the eight and the end of that text. Okay? Put space around everything. Never place pictures or text all the way to the edge. It just seems very cramped and, and uh, constricted that way. Um, always leave a finger sized space around the edge of each slide and between everything you see on the slide. Put space, allow space. There's plenty of slides, they're free, and uh, so don't you don't have to cram things in. Contrast. Use dark text on a light background. This is pretty bright looking right here, but when you uh, project it through an LCD or a DLP projector, a lot of times it gets really dark. And so if you don't have real extreme contrast on your text, between your text and background, it will probably be very hard to read. Use light text on a dark background or a color that is on the opposite side of the color wheel. That works good for most um, colors except for red and green. That gets a little hard to read because they're both very saturated. So um, yellow seems to be a very good color font. It goes with, it goes with a lot of dark colors. 
choose the right colors. You use the colors on the opposite side of the color wheel as far as your layout goes, or match colors by choosing colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, analogous colors. They go very well to go, uh, together. As uh, this background illustrates, these are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, along with this here. This is the uh, example of that solid colored background I was talking about. That works very well to make, uh, make your text very readable. Images. Only use one or two pictures on a slide that represent what you're talking about. If you put images on your slide that don't have anything to do with what you're talking about, it's just going to be confusing and the audience is going to sit in there wondering what the picture has to do with anything and they're not going to be hearing what you're saying or what the um, point is. So just back up what you're saying with the images. Now do not use animation on titles. Only use animation on the body text or images. Always use automatic animation, use with previous or after previous. Now, when your slide comes in, you want the title to be there so your audience can be reading the title, and by that time, the other animation, the other text is coming in. If you want to do a point by point, then you can do that, but I always use with or uh, after previous, so it comes right in and um, they're not waiting and you're not waiting, and um, sometimes when it's on click, it, um, you click too many times, you go to the next slide accidentally. So this is just a real safe way to do it. <laughs> now, sound. Only use sound effects to bring attention to an important point. Or you can use, it as, use music as a background. Don't put uh, sound effects, bullets, explosions, laughing after every slide. That gets very old very fast. So if you use them sparingly, to bring attention to a certain point, then um, it makes for a much more effective slideshow. It's always good to have a thank you or a questions um, slide at the very end. That way, when you're standing there after your show, show is ended, your presentation is ended, you're not standing there with the, the PowerPoint looking stuff going on. You have, um, you know, just the PowerPoint stops and just use, looking at the application. This is much nicer when you're answering questions or ending a presentation to have the very last slide be something that is pleasant to look at.